I used to play baseball a lot. Used to be pretty much addicted to it. But I guess I kind of wanted to be a doctor from the beginning. Anything little kids would look up to. When we got to the hospital, my stomach hurt so bad they gave me morphine. And I don't really remember anything after that because I was out. They did the biopsy and they found out it was a stage four neuroblastoma. Didn't really know what that was. I knew it was cancer, but I didn't really know what cancer was either, but I knew it was bad, but I didn't know how bad. He's got a tumor behind his heart. The same tumor wraps up his spine. My child's bones are breaking. Your whole body feels like it's on fire. It feels like you're laying on a bed of nails. He couldn't breathe, and he screamed so loud, saying, stop, stop. There's no more baseball, no more school. It was awful. I've been to doctors in New York, Boston, San Francisco, Houston, and every single one of them says, my son's going to die. Of course I want to live. Who doesn't? I mean, obviously, I want to beat this disease, but I'm not going to be that sad if I don't. My son said, I know I'm in a lot of darkness right now, but I've come to learn that the greatest amount of darkness, just the smallest amount of light will overcome it. sort of have these moments when you ask God and why? Why my why, why my son? You know, why, why can't you use this in a different way? <laughs>